David Lazarus here in the studio with us. Uh, Want to talk a little bit about insurance? Yeah, it's not going to be a surprise to most homeowners that uh, home policies do not cover earthquakes. We already know that. If you want coverage in that regard, you've got to get extra coverage from the California Earthquake Authority. Also, that's not necessarily news to homeowners either. But what you might not know is when you look closely at the fine print of your policy, if you have quake coverage, it makes very clear that the California Earthquake Authority doesn't expect to be able to cover all claims in the event of a major catastrophe which is to say, even though homeowners are paying premiums into the system to cover themselves in the event of a disastrous quake, the Earthquake Authority says it will cover as many claims as it can until it runs out of money, which leaves potentially a lot of people high and dry because earthquake uh, earth insurance is very expensive. It comes with a very high deductible and it might not cover all of your rebuilding costs. And then now there's now the issue that if you are late to the party, in other words, if you submit a late claim, you might not even find coverage at all. And that's going to be a real wake up call, I think, for a lot of homeowners who think they're anticipating and preparing for the worst, but in fact, might not be able to do that. This also speaks volumes as well about the FAIR plan, which is being used as insurance of last resort for homeowners who can't get ordinary homeowner coverage because insurers won't cover them because of wildfire risk and things like that. The FAIR plan also says it can't cover all claims in the event of a major fire, for example, and that too is a bit of a head fake. Right now, homeowners are doing their best to cover themselves in the event of disastrous outcomes, but the available insurance for them might not go the distance. Yeah, and the retrofit can take forever to complete and it's expensive. Well, and I think what a lot of the homeowners don't realize is in the event of a major catastrophe, the costs of rebuilding, the costs of supplies, the costs of labors. I mean, yeah. contractors, for example, all of that goes through the roof because everyone starts rebuilding simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a real issue as well because most homeowner policies foresee a rebuilding cost of XYZ. They've anticipated it prior to the disaster. Post-disaster, all of that stuff becomes more expensive. And here's a tip for people, and that is you can get a rider for your existing coverage that will accommodate increases in material costs. Now that costs a little bit extra, but it will protect you if the cost of lumber, for example, or concrete, or even labor is more than anticipated. And that's something you want to talk to your insurance broker about. So California homeowners just hold on tight and hope an Keep earthquake doesn't crossed. come. <laughs> California homeowners basically roll the dice yeah. every single day because yeah. not, yes, we are living in a wonderful place mm -hmm. with wonderful standards of living, wonderful quality of life. The reality is we're due for a big one. Yeah. And anyone who doesn't think that isn't paying attention. Moreover, climate change changes the entire game when it comes mm -hmm. to wildfire and uh, uh, landslides and all that kind of thing as well. So those are the things that need to go into your risk planning. Mm -hmm. Not all of that is going to be accommodated. For example, anything that involves the movement of Earth, very difficult mm -hmm. to cover. Most homeowner policies will not cover that kind of thing. But at the same time, you've got to prepare for the worst. And again, that's the kind of thing you need to talk to your insurance broker about.